What's up guys, it's Alex here, your friendly reef dork. Now keeping a reef tank is generally a pretty expensive hobby, so today I'm gonna to talk you through a few gems that are a little bit cheaper. Before I do so, if you're new to the channel, I upload videos like this every Friday at 4 p.m. UK time, which is 10 a.m. Central time. So if you enjoy reefing videos, hit that subscribe button for more of this sort of stuff. Now as to the video then, there's links in the description for all of this stuff. Let's check it out. Number six is the Sarah High Precision Thermometer. If you're anything like me, you'll have about a thousand thermometers and they will all give different readings. So which one do you trust? Well, the Germans know a thing or two about precision, don't they? And this thermometer is all about accuracy. So it doesn't have a fancy digital display, but it will be the most accurate thermometer in your aquarium. Now, I much prefer digital readouts, so I will always have a digital thermometer, but this lives in my sump and tells me exactly what my temperature is. So that way I can tell if the digital reading is high or low and adjust it accordingly. Number five is cupboard hangers. Spaces that are premium in most aquarium cabinets, they're pretty small and usually full of crap. But the things you use all the time, you want to keep to hand. So these equipment hangers and hooks are absolutely ideal. They keep your cabinet tidy and allow you to have things like feeders, grabbers and nets right where you need them. Because they're flat, they don't interfere with whatever else you have in your cabinet. And you can of course stick them on the back of your cabinet if you prefer. Aquarium manufacturers don't seem to give any thought to this sort of thing, but with a bit of IKEA style thinking, maybe a small shelf and a basket too, you can make much better use of your space. Number four is what the manufacturers call an e-cloth. And this is the cheapest thing you can buy that will actually make your aquarium look better. When you clean algae off the inside of the glass, your tank suddenly looks fantastic, but it's easy to overlook the outside of the glass. With this cloth, you don't need to spray anything on the glass, you just dip it in RO water from your auto top off, cover the tank in water, then polish it off with the microfiber cloth, Mr. Miyagi style. The first time I used this, I was amazed at the difference it made. The combination of RO water and microfiber polishing means you'll get no streaks at all, and if you have kids, something like this is essential for removing little fingerprints. Number three is something to use instead of frag racks. Personally, I hate having frag racks in my tank. If they're on the back glass, they're too far out of the way. And if they're on the front or side glass, they look rubbish and they stop you cleaning algae off the glass properly. I currently have a homemade frag rack on my sand bed, but it still looks ugly even when covered in coralline algae. So the answer is to use these ceramic rocks, usually called zoa rocks or frag rocks. They look so much better than frag racks and won't get in the way of your algae scraper. They come in various different sizes to suit any tank, and as a nice little bonus, they provide another hiding place for fish like blennies and gobies. The runner up on my list is super glue. If you currently use putty to mount your corals, this stuff will be a revelation. Putty molds easily around contours of live rock, but frags, and especially larger frags, don't stick to it very easily. So you can end up using loads of the stuff just for one frag and it'll look really messy. The solution then is to put a small amount of putty down, flatten it, then add a drop of super glue to the base of the frag plug and stick it in place. The putty forms a perfect platform on the rock and the glue grips it in place so you don't have to remount it time and time again when it falls off an hour later. Now you can't use any old super glue, only cyanoacrylate super glue is aquarium safe and I find the super glue gel works best as it doesn't slide off the frag plug. You can get this stuff cheap as chips in any hardware store, and because you only need a small drop at a time, it'll last for ages. And for the winner, I am really spoiling you. It's an idea I got from a UK reefer on a forum called Ultimate Reef. Now to the untrained eye, this might look like a Ferrero Rocher box, but it's actually a mobile phone lens dipper. No matter how high quality glass your aquarium has, your tank colours look much more vivid and natural top down. So taking photos from above makes a huge difference to your snaps. And this will let you pierce the water and get great photos of your corals. The beauty is that it's compatible with Android and iPhone and even Windows Phone for all you Bill Gates fanboys. Plus it comes in different sizes to suit every phone. And as a nice little bonus, you can even pretend you bought chocolates for your missus, thus earning yourself a few precious brownie points. 
Now I use this all the time, so anytime you see top-down videos on this channel, you can think of the ambassador's reception. So there you go then, those are my top six bits of reefing equipment that will cost you less than a tenner. If you found any bargains, share them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, as always, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. And in the meantime, check out some of my other videos. Until next time then, I've been the Reef Talk. Thank you, good night.